Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that bell. If you do that, you'll get all my recipes instantaneously. Don't miss one. Okay, so you know, sometimes I need some inspiration. Sometimes I just run into a wall. I get out of ideas. Hey, I was in North Carolina with the wife this week. Fantastic little vacation. North Carolina is a wonderful place. I was inspired. Today's recipe is one of my inspirations while I was in North Carolina. By the way, big shout out to Lisa and Neil. They hosted us. They're cousins. Fantastic. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Neil. How you doing? Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, so today's recipe, fantastic. Fried green tomatoes. Now, if you're in the north like me, hard to find green tomatoes. You know, maybe in the spring you might find some. Uh, they're basically unripened red tomatoes. What I do is I found the most unripened tomato. That's it. They're a little pinkish, they're not really red, and they're very hard. So it'll work, it'll work. It'll give you a little different flavor, but it's gonna work. So first thing I have to do is cook these tomatoes. Now, this is a fried green tomato. I'm not gonna fry it. I'm not gonna let you down. I'm gonna make this a little healthy, okay? I'm gonna bake it. Think of it like that eggplant parmesan. You can fry it, that's okay, it gives you one result. Or you can bake the eggplant, that gives you a different result, a little bit healthier. I'm gonna bake these tomatoes. Gonna give me a little bit of a different result. Then I'm gonna serve with a very special sauce made from a cheese indigenous to North Carolina. That's that pimento cheese. But I'm gonna make it vegan so you guys can enjoy it. A couple of preparations I did. I did overnight. This is one of them. I did this last night. One cup of almond milk, two teaspoons of vinegar. Put in the refrigerator this morning. I have a nice buttermilk. Got that nice tang. I'm going to season this up with half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of fresh black pepper, one teaspoon granulated garlic, quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. And instead of using breadcrumbs, I'm going to use some yellow cornmeal. That's going to give me a really nice flavor. Put about a cup of yellow cornmeal in the pan. Half teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon of black pepper. Teaspoon of granulated garlic. And quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. Yeah, sound familiar? Now I'm going to slice my tomatoes. I want to slice them a little bit thick. Because I'm baking them, I don't want them to just dehydrate. I want them to cook a little bit. So I slice them about three-eighths of, not quite a half inch thick, not quite a quarter inch thick, about three-eighths of an inch thick. Okay, I want to prepare this pan. Just give it a nice spray. So nothing sticks. Spray oil. So, and keep the wet hand wet and the dry hand dry. So, I'm going to use a dry hand with the cornmeal. And then, I'm going to put it in the buttermilk. See, take it out of the buttermilk with the wet hand. And then use the dry hand to dredge it back in the cornmeal. And on to the sheet pan. Okay, there you go. Beautiful. Now you gotta spray the tops so the tops don't burn. Hey, I have my oven set at 425 degrees. That may seem hot. Don't worry about it. It's not too hot. Just keep an eye on it. I'm going to check it in 10 minutes and I'll flip it over for another 10 minutes. I think that'll do it. But you got to check it because every oven's different. Don't forget that. Okay. Woo! That's
that's nice and hot. I'll see you in 20 minutes. Hey, while that's cooking in the oven, let's make this sauce. Pimento cheese, vegan style. It's gonna be wonderful. Hey, I told you it was something else I had to do overnight in the fridge. I like that. It makes, it, it makes life easy. The only thing more difficult is that you gotta plan the day ahead. But I knew I was making this today, so yesterday I made that buttermilk. I also soaked a half a cup of cashews in one cup of water. I put it in a container, I put it in the fridge overnight. Put it in the fridge and forget about it. That's the best way to do it. Very easy. Put that in this blender. I got a four ounce jar of pimentos here. And this is what I'm gonna do. I want that real nice pimento flavor as well as the color. So I'm gonna take all these pimentos and the juice that came in. I put the whole thing in the blender. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I got the low sodium variety. This is not vegan by the way. There are some health food stores that do sell vegan Worcestershire sauce. This one has a little bit of anchovy in it, so it's not vegan, but it's almost vegan. So if you don't have the, the vegan variety available to you, don't sweat it, because you're not vegan, you're almost vegan. And if you are vegan, I'm sure you know where you can get your Worcestershire sauce. All right, let's continue. So one teaspoon of Worcestershire, that's good. Half teaspoon onion powder. Half a cup of nutritional yeast. And a half a teaspoon smoked paprika. One teaspoon salt. Half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. Woo! It's gonna be good. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Look at that color. That's amazing. Hold on one second. Gotta taste it. Make sure it's alright. Woo! Nice flavor. It's gonna go great with the tomato. Mmm. Okay, so I cooked these 12 minutes on each side. 12 minutes. That's pretty good. Check that out. That's perfect. Okay, I'm going to put this dish together. I'm going to add a few extra things to it and I'll make it really, really special. Because it's dedicated to my cousins, they're special. i got to make the dish special. Hey, Lisa and Neil, check this out. Okay, first I'm going to saute some spinach. A couple of handfuls. Be perfect. It seems like a lot of spinach, but it shrinks a lot. about a quarter teaspoon of salt. Hey, look how much I shrunk. Hey, remember these? Then I put the spinach. Right on top, look at that. Hey, remember that pimento cheese? Got to heat that up. When I heat it up, it's going to thicken a little bit. Hey, back here, I'm going to poach a couple of eggs. Okay, you put that poached egg on there. Beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a one. That's a new classic right there. Hey, I gotta make good food, or else my cousins won't invite me back to North Carolina. Well, that was a wonderful vacation. Hey, thanks a lot. Lisa Neal, we'll catch you again soon. And you guys out there, 
Don't forget, check out my date nut bread. If you like a really easy brunch type of dish, date nut bread v with vegan cream cheese. It's awesome. Check it out. I'll see you there.